Welcome to 9 to 5 to Life. In this video, I'm gonna show you the tools that you need to install your own screens, the tools that you need to measure and actually make the screen to fit any window, all by yourself with just some simple hand tools. Here on the homestead, we make tons and tons of mistakes and do a lot of DIY projects. And every time we make a mistake, it's nice to learn it the hard way, but it's also a good learning experience learning it the hard way. We would like to show you the right way to do the things that we do the wrong way to begin with. You're practically only gonna need five tools. Right here, it cost me $4.59. This is a screen roller. It's what you're gonna see in the video. We're gonna roll the screen in with. Be able to cut the screen by just using yourself a uh, carpenter knife. You're gonna want a tape measure, hacksaw, and a straight edge. I'd also like to add that you're gonna probably want a marker or a pencil of some sort. Be easier to write down, maybe a piece of paper to write down your measurement so you don't forget. Measure twice, measure three times, cut once. So what you're gonna wanna do is stop by your hardware store or your big box store, and you're gonna wanna get a square cut screen frame kit, just like this. It gives you all your instructions on here. You really don't need to watch this video. It comes with your corner pieces where you can hook them together so you can make a screen this small, this big, pretty much the length of these. You can have a pretty big screen if you got some pretty big windows. This kit right here, was $18.49. You'll probably get it cheaper at a big box store or Amazon. But um, like I mentioned before in other videos, I like to support my local hardwares and pay double, triple. Next, you're gonna need some screen. So you wanna pretty much measure your windows and you wanna make sure it's a little bit bigger than your actual window. And then you know what length to get. If you can get the exact length um, or width, whatever, it'd be perfect. You roll it out, you don't have to cut as much. This screen right here is a smaller roll, 36 inch by 46 inches. It was $9.49 for this roll. Okay, local hardware, like I said, triple, double, whatever. Right here's a little bit, a lot of bit bigger roll. I'm not really sure why I picked that up, but I think with this, I can probably do a couple of these windows. And then with what's left over, I might be able to do some of our smaller windows. All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your tape measure and simply get your measurements. You wanna measure inside where your screen is gonna go so it sits in this lip right here. We got about 33 inches. Okay, next we're gonna to wanna to pull out our screen kit here. Don't lose your corner pieces that come with your screen kit. All right, before you go and cut your frame, just know that the corner pieces that come with a kit that slide into here, they slide in this far, so Take your tape measure, you're gonna look. It's about three quarters of an inch, okay? So you want to make sure you account for that during your measurement. So three quarter and three quarter will make an inch and a half. So you're gonna to wanna to do is, after you measure, like our bottom one that we're cutting first is 33 inches. We're gonna take 33 and we're gonna subtract an inch and a half and that's how long we're gonna cut this because when we put these on, it's gonna make up for that. Okay, so we got 33 inches here. So we want an inch and a half. So it'll be 31 and a half inches. Okay, now that we got it marked, take our fancy, fancy hacksaw. Oops, cool. So as you can see, we made our cut. The rubber nylon insert, whatever they want to call that, is left in there still. Look at that, beautiful fit, see that? So before we go and cut the other one, we wanna make sure we're exactly where we need to be. Stick this in here. So we got both corner pieces on right now. We're just gonna go ahead and check, making sure we're good. Look at that. Okay, we are good to go. We're gonna cut the other piece and then we'll cut our length. So I'm just gonna take this, lay it right next to it like that, and make my mark that way just like the other one just like so we'll just cut that one yep all right so that right there is our top piece we'll go ahead and grab the uh these other corners right here before we lose them that one's in 
and that one's in. So now you have two perfectly, so we got top and bottom now. So now we just gotta measure the sides again, make sure we get it right, do our cuts, put those together, and that steps over. 29 and an eighth. So we wanna take 29 and an eighth, subtract our inch and a half. Okay, so now we can go ahead and cut these. Now that we have our uppers up and down our lengths, we can hook them together now. There's a corner piece. Whoop. Check it out. Now we have our frame. So yeah, looks like that's gonna fit nice. So now we'll get our screen in our frame. I'm gonna do is lay this on the floor. Seems I don't have a set up a table out here where I can do it on. If you had a table or some sawhorses with something on it, you could lay it out, it'd be great. But I'm just gonna lay it here on the floor. You have to pull these little rubber inserts out of here, your screen in. Kind of lay them aside, don't lose them. Very important that you keep those. All right. Go ahead and set this frame on top of your screen. You want your this corner lined up perfect and that line nice and straight. Once you did that, now we can take our carpenter knife here and we can cut our screen out on the outside of your frame because you want to leave extra because it's going to fold in. It's going to take about a quarter of an inch of screen to tuck inside there when you go to roll it and I'll show you. Now if you don't want to cut up your pretty nice hardwood porch or whatnot, I would definitely recommend laying something else down. I'm gonna take this flat edge, straight edge that I got here. I'm gonna put it right up against it where it needs to go. I'm gonna double check, make sure everything is perfectly aligned. Put one knee on your straight edge and your hand up here when you cut it. Now that we got that one, we can set the frame back on it. Get it squared back up. This will probably cut a lot easier because now I'm not going over the little cracks in the floor here. So when you set up your setup, if you're doing a bunch of screens, I would recommend having a better setup. At least you see what I'm doing. So when you set your setup up, you go a lot faster because if you're doing like 20 different windows, it'd be a lot easier to be prepared. But here I am. All right. <laughs> There's that. So now we get to use our handy dandy screen installation tool, a little roller thing. It's just a simple handle with two different style rollers. This style right here has like a, it's not flat, it dips in in the middle of the roller. This one over here is kind of round beveled, the whole edge is beveled. Now what we got to do is set the screen back on top of it and then we got to find our Nice little rubber pieces to be able to get the screen pushed down in the slot. Go ahead and put this back on top of that. What I'm gonna do is it's kind of windy out here just to help me out a little bit. I'm gonna set this straight edge over here to help hold it into place. You want it kind of even all the way around where it needs to be because otherwise you're putting your screen in crooked. So these are stretchy, so it's gonna be a lot shorter now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now that we got the top and bottom, we can go ahead and grab our other pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is start in the middle. It seems to really help make the screen more true. If you start on the edge, it seems to want to wrinkle it one way or the other. So I'm just going to start rolling it in the middle like I did there. See what we got. All nice and pretty. Last one. So it, I, it did actually work better starting in the middle. You just want to make sure you're pretty even at both ends. Look at that. So what it's doing, it's pulling the screen tighten this way. When I push that way, it 
it's kind of pulling it all this way. When I come back this way, it's gonna pull the slack out this way. If I start at this end, I'm pushing all the slack that way and I'm making my screen a little bit kind of wonky looking. Beautiful, huh? Now that we got the screen all pressed in, the rubber inserts, I'm gonna trim off a little bit of the excess. Now you do not want to trim off right tight up against that rubber because if your screen slips, gets pushed a little bit, it goes past it, then you're gonna have issues. So what we have here, this will be the outside, is a beautiful finished off screen. Now you see I left a little, little room on it right here on that edge, but a quarter of an inch. Like I said, if someone pushes something up against it real hard and it doesn't rip, it just pulls out, which I don't think it will. And you got a little room to be able to get it back on there. We do this without breaking my wife's plants. Like so, and just like that. 10 minute job, you got your screen in. We can enjoy the fresh air with no bugs. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 to Life. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Now you should be able to put in your own screen. Wives out there, you can do this while your husband's at work and he don't even have to take the time to do it. Maybe I can have my wife watch this video so she can do it.